How's it going guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle and today we're going to be taking a look at something uh, very special. Uh, if you guys are watching this uh, video the day it came out, it's uh, Christmas, so Merry Christmas everybody. Um, so today we're going to be taking a look at The Nightmare Before Christmas, the storybook edition by uh, Tim Burton. Uh, I was actually recently at my local library, and you know, uh, a lot of libraries at the front have a little uh, bookshop, uh, things people have donated or things that have gotten uh, withdrawn, um, and you can go and actually make uh, purchases from your library sometimes. Uh, so I went there looking to see what they had, and I found uh, this. Uh, this is a withdrawn from the library, so it's got a little bit of wear from use and love from uh, hundreds of uh, readers. So, uh, a withdrawn copy of the storybook, a hardcover, which I don't know if this normally is because sometimes they rebound them. And um, I actually, they uh, they gave it to me for 50 cents, which is a, a great price. So, uh, thank you to my library, and I really encourage you guys to go out and support them if uh, you have a library nearby that has a uh, sale area, and even if they don't have sales, if you go and uh, check books out, they really do like that. They love the support. Um, but anyway, let's go and uh, take a look at this. Now, one thing uh, kind of ironic uh, for a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, uh, product, but my first question is uh, really, what's this? Um, you see, I picked it up and I found it, and I don't really know the exact circumstances that led up to this book's release. Now, if we flip it open to the uh, copyright information, you know, there's the acknowledgments, uh, and we can see down at the bottom, uh, text and illustrations, copyright 1993 by Tim Burton. So this isn't someone that they just got to write the children's book without you know, you know, just some writer off the street, you know, this is actually Tim Burton doing the writing and doing these beautiful hand-drawn drawings. Now, this looks like there's a few things in here that don't exactly match the movie, so I'm thinking that the drawings were his concept art uh, before he actually made the movie that really does look like it, and in which case, you know, I, I know this is for kids, but, you know, if you were doing a you know, more released to the uh, older movie nerds like me, a little page or a blurb going, featuring original production art by Tim Burton, that really would have uh, helped sell it. Um, but I know Nightmare Before Christmas was based on a poem by Tim Burton, which is supposedly uh, three pages long, I believe. And this seems a fair bit longer than that. But then again, you know, he may have had a really uh, small font. Um, maybe he just fleshed it out a little bit for the books. I don't know if this is the original poem or not, and I really wish that there was a little foreword explaining what exactly this is, but these definitely look like pre-movie illustrations, and, um, it may be the original poem. I, I don't know. This is a, a short book, and you can read it in about, uh, ten minutes, so it's not very long. It, it might be, and... I do want to say before we get into it, I do love the hand-drawn art style. Uh, we look at uh, the Blu-ray that just came out recently. I mean, it's a nice, good, clean image, but you can tell that this is uh, the art style uh, that Disney's really pushing for. This is what they want Nightmare Before Christmas to be, this uh, smooth uh, digital painting look that's on the back here as well. And, you know, why this isn't a bad art style, I do really prefer uh, the actual stop motion and in the case of this book the hand drawn. I mean this is nice and colorful and fun and um, I do like it but I I prefer this. Um, but yeah some beautiful hand drawn images in here. Gotta love that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Is the withdrawn stamp that they put on there from the uh, library and on the inside you see these uh, I don't think they're technically in papers but this patterned paper before the story it's on the front and the uh, and the back there but nice Jack Skellington faces there's the the title page with the uh, pumpkin there Wow. You guys are a little too zoomed in. Let me pull you back a little bit. 
But yeah, there's the title page with the snowman pumpkin, and that's really cool. This great swirling art style. Um, now this tells the story of a uh, nightmare before Christmas. So of course it begins with Jack, and he's really sad. He's the king of Halloween Town, but he's depressed and uh, doesn't know his place now. I guess I'll say before I get too far into the plot that I'll try to avoid spoilers, but I mean this is the 10 minute storybook version of a, a movie that's already been out, but nice illustration there of uh, the, the classic spiral hill from the movie. Uh, but anyway, Jack will eventually uh, wander through the woods until he, oh there's zero, <laughs> uh, wander through the woods, wow until he finds the doors which will lead him to Christmas land and getting enamored by the culture and uh, wanting to bring Christmas to Halloween Town and wanting to be this year's Santa he falls through the portal right there and then he winds up in Christmas Town so I guess that's all I'll say about the plot I, I want to go ahead and uh, talk about this artwork um, so you get some scenes where they're big and complex and you get more simple stuff like this character page of zero but even like here some of these are just really simple drawings and they do you know some pages where there's a whole bunch of text on the side and the artwork is just over here and sometimes the artwork is very minimal but other times they do where the artwork like this beautiful portal page spread where they they know that sometimes the text is more important and sometimes the art is more important and they'll let that flex back and forth and I really do love this beautiful double page spread of Jack falling through the portal here and there's lots of really good uh, pictures now the biggest thing uh, with this is this is a very minimal version of the story either reduced from the script or maybe it's um more than likely it's before the bigger aspects were invented so in this it's Jack and Zero and Santa and those are pretty much your three main characters uh, characters in the movie like Oogie Boogie and uh, Sally who have much bigger parts aren't in this book uh, too much they're never really mentioned in the text and at first I thought they weren't in it but then I looked at this page a little further and you may notice a much more ghostly version of Oogie Boogie there. It looks like maybe the original concept was him to be the uh, classic sheet ghost, but he's much more white and uh, a lot leaner, and his hat is uh, taller there. So, yeah, probably the original concept for him was probably that he's going to be a sheet ghost, you know, the classic Halloween one. And then you actually do get Sally. She's a little more in the background so let me actually yeah let me wow she is kind of hard to see especially on camera but yeah there's Sally at first I thought Sally wasn't in the book uh, there she is right there there's the mayor the melting man one of the vampires and look look at this why I said this is probably done before the movie and probably concept art mummy boy has two eyes on that that's that's really weird to see mummy boy and he's got two eyes so this is definitely an earlier version and there's all these other fun characters the the werewolf and this guy has one eye but he's not the mummy boy um but yeah so that's a fun page and you get some that have more uh, detail like that um jack studying christmas let me find there's uh the one from the covers in here as well uh, yeah, there's where they're meeting all the citizens of Halloween Town, the mayor in the background there. That's a really fun page. Um, but yeah, so um, overall, I guess it's going to be a quicker video because how long can you talk about? <laughs> there's Jack with the toys. and But like, how long can you, you know, talk about a 10-minute uh, kid's storybook? But... Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, take a minute to show you guys this, show you guys the art, 
There's Jack patting the kid's head, and look how long and spirally. Like, this is definitely more something you can do with the drawing easier than you can do with stop motion. Just make his limbs longer, and the train and the teddy bear. Where is it? Ah, yes, another double page spread with Santa. Santa Claus Jack, the skeleton reindeer, and Zero with his tiny jack lantern nose pulling the sled at the beginning. But you also see his sled is uh, much simpler. It's a casket with a big bag. So, casket and big bag, very uh, simple. But yeah, like I said, it's a much more toned down version of the story, a much quicker and simpler one. All the subplot stuff is missing. Uh, jack and I mean, uh, Jack's in there, Zero's in there, Santa's in there, but uh, Sally and Oogie Boogie, pretty much just that <laughs> little tiny bit in the background. And I wonder if that's what they are, if, if uh, when they decided to flesh the story out more than the three-page poem, if they're like, this character in the background here, this character in the background here, I like those, let's sp expand them. But uh, yeah, it's really cool to see, which I'm guessing is early versions of each of those characters. Uh, really fun. I just wish it had a prologue explaining more what this was about. Is this the original three-page poem and how early in production were these images? But this is good artwork by Burden, hand-drawn Burden stuff, and it's worth it to get to see these pictures. But to, to read a fun storybook version of Nightmare Before Christmas, especially when Storybooks are such a, a large part of uh, Christmas traditions. Really fun to, to take this out and read it around Christmas time if I can avoid knocking it over. Uh, but anyway, um, I actually recently covered Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, the movie on this channel. I did, uh, I did Christmas movies all December long. Uh, so at the end of the video, there'll be a playlist of my Christmas stuff. But anyway, other than that, I do primarily movies on here, uh, like 95% scary movies. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I recommend checking, uh, sticking around and checking that out. Uh, but to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Uh, have a good day and relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day. See you soon.